so would you consider eye twitching to be a brain problem the eye twitching should we go to an eye doctor or should we go to a brain doctor and which brain doctor to go to so is it really a brain no, how eye can twitching, eye twitching be uh, a brain issue eye twitching is you know see if you look at the hemifacial spasm again you know uh, watch our videos you will understand what is hemifacial spasm so eye twitching that requires uh, you know medical attention i mean to that uh, extent it has if it has increased then one has to see a neurosurgeon who is actually specializing in hemifacial spasms uh, he is the right doctor you should go to because you know i will tell you i have operated in the last 20 25 years I have operated four ophthalmologists <laughs> who had hemifacial spasms, and they themselves initially did not know that they are, you know, having spasms when the twitching started because uh, they thought that it is dryness of the eye or something mm. like that. Mm. And uh, finally, they realized and they came to our center. But if you are asking me who is the right doctor, it is. you should go to the center which is interested in hemifacial spasms which is interested in talking to people with empathy who have hemifacial spasms talking to them them with empathy not to ridicule them many of my patients you will be surprised to hear this they tell me when we went to xyz doctor he could have been a general physician or neurologist or whatever in different cases you know they tell me that doctor told me live with this what is there nothing will happen to you only your face will twitch why are you worried mm. you know is i don't think this is a right you know suggestion to give to someone mm. i don't even think that a temporary measure uh, offered for such spasms is a right way you know those people have to be told that look here because you know they they are shattered in their mind mm. when they realize that you know they have to face the world with spasms you know don't take them lightly these patients have problem you have to you have to empathize with them they cannot go out they are afraid to go out i told you the example of a person who was beaten up on the road because of the spasm thinking that he is winking so empathize with them you should speak with them and then you should advise them properly that there is a chance of cure in some patients and there is a center which does work uh specifically on this issue mm -hmm. but you know these patients tell us we were never told about all these things we were told that you know are itna hi hai if you have this much problem just tolerate it ignore what's it. there Ig mm -hmm. ignore it. Live, with it live with it what's there only yesterday one young guy was telling me who comes from a nearby city of solapur mm -hmm. near pune he was telling me he's young guy huh? near mm -hmm. i think 25 to 30 years of age i think or mm. maybe less he was told you know with increasing hemifacial spasms he went to a local neurologist he was told that no uh, you neglect it completely why are you bothered with some spasms mm. so that really puts them off you know because they are suffering very badly their uh, psychology has taken a hit and uh, that is actually the work and i must say that the counselors at our hemifacial spasm center for surgery and research both they are fantastic they guide people thoroughly and answer all their questions so